Uh, hello everyone, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, design a moment resisting beam column connection in IDEA Statica software. So uh, uh, we usually have two kind of uh, moment resisting uh, beam column connection. Uh, one is uh, beam uh, moment resisting beam column connection with welding and other is with a uh, uh, nut bolt. So both are uh, sometimes also can be composite and in some area we need uh, to weld and also some region need to uh, use nut bolt so we uh, especially we will good suggest use the weld connection and uh, we want to after the design is completed we want to verify is this a, a moment or rigid or not so moment uh, resisting is rigid so now we go to the uh, idea statica and in idea statica uh, you can select uh, any of this uh, uh, class so i will uh, select this one and here select in the geometry this option uh, here is the different kind of connection and this is usually called shear connection and this is called moment connection so i can use this one or any of them you want but we at least select the just in the this one which is usually used moment uh, a welding uh, this connection is the most simple connection uh, which uh, we use for uh, earthquake resisting structure uh, but in uh, some uh, specific some other uh, uh, based on the some good requirement or some special connection so then we use a combined and we will create some innovation uh, that can provide more stability for that entire structure so now let's uh, see uh, how this is connected and uh, we have two member and also uh, creating a stiffness in, in the uh, which is in the same uh, in the same layer with uh, uh, beam flanges and we can check uh, this is the first member and this is the second member and this is the column uh, we're using this different uh, cross section now we will go to the, the loading so this is the loading we have two load and this is the shear and this is the moment uh, now in case for the for the simplicity uh, we don't have any uh, pre-designed steel be uh, beam columns so we just considering to design the connection we want to accept this loading and this uh, template beam column we want to check is this with this criteria with this sort of configuration let's see 9 millimeter flange and web is 6 millimeter uh, using E13 uh, it will verify or will pass the uh, this loading or not in case if it didn't pass so we will have a lot of option to improve this connection and finally get a verified connection design so now we go to check calculate it take a few uh, moment to finish and then we will uh, see what we can do yes uh, fortunately this is quite safe and you can see the plate is any of this plate the flange wave is passed and uh, all the well is also passed the uh, analysis completed uh, totally uh, this is safe so but uh, i want to this is a very uh, not economical even it's very cheap uh, but we want to bring some small changes let's uh, uh, bring this to uh, six millimeter and this one to be uh, five millimeter and the same uh, six millimeter and four millimeter and the stiffener uh, thickness is eight millimeter so it's okay now uh, we want to redesign which we changed in case if you want to use uh, a very lower uh, electrode so then you can go check it now we can see now how it works 
uh, now let's see it's quite better than before because the uh, the three millimeter uh, well is uh, actually uh, reduced uh, that will be more economical now we're gonna go to hit 30 uh, from 48 to 38 10 dollars reduced so this is very good uh, now uh, we can uh, go to the check and see how this uh, behave so the first part is we want to see the plastic strain and this is the plastic strain and we can go to the some that's 3d is okay and we can see so including the plastic strain we want to see the deform shape this is very least because the load is very little and i want to see the meshing how because the idea static is a finite element method so they're using mesh principle to uh, design a structure now we want to remove the mesh and we want to see the stress strain contour so here is very little so there is no it's not reached to the yield strength now we can go to the equivalent stress so the equivalent stress is very very less and you can see here now uh, the next thing is in case if i want to see exactly this is uh, a rigid connection or not and in case it's rigid connection that's a moment resisting it's not rigid that's not a moment resisting connection so what we're gonna do is we want to go to back to the design and in the design we want to consider the stiffness design so when you go to the stiffness design the structure will return back and pro uh, uh, it come back to the uh, default and we will calculate again using the stiffness so the stiffness calculate and it will start stiffness this take a little time and it will produce a stiffness rotation curve and you will analyze to see this is a moving rigid uh, beam column connection now the stiffness analysis completed and now we can go to uh, uh, see uh, in the check in the check uh, we want to see the stiffness it is called uh, rotational stiffness and you can go to check it here is the curve uh, and now uh, this curve is actually uh, our structure so this is a moving rigid moving rigid connection uh, in case uh, this is this curve comes to this area we call uh, uh, semi rigid and in this area it's the uh, dialable dialable stiffness so this is what we have this is very large so now we got the structure is 88 so quite large uh, so this is a middle point and this is the lower point and this is the exact uh, connection uh, uh, resistance so the moment and the rotation so the moment rotation is very large so moment uh, rotation is less the moment is high this will be rigid in case the rotation is very large and stiff moment is less so that will be semi rigid uh, you can see here Uh, we can also go to the report and uh, create a report and uh, there is more information and also here is more uh, here is more information regarding uh, regarding to the project to the material to the uh, check and now here is the same way you can see bending resisting and initial uh, rotational stiffness and this is uh, second uh, uh, rotational stiffness and rotational deformation now here is the one thing that's called uh, limit value from each joint and you can uh, see 
who is the lowest uh, rigid uh, connection. So for the detailing, you can select all or also can select other things, the, especially the theoretical background, you will uh, see more information. Now this is the end of the tutorial. Uh, if you have any question, please put in the comment and I will find time to answer you. One more thing, and you can uh, send to the DXF file and you can create the detailing there. See you next time.